Are you or your partner doing too much in your relationship and thereby sabotaging any chance you ever have at finding the love you deserve? I don't know, I'm not you. But today, together, we're gonna find out. Okay, before we get started with today's episode. ha <laughs> I don't know, I got nervous. All the YouTube things. Oh, all the YouTube things. Welcome to Part of Love, the channel devoted to helping you find the love you deserve. I'm Colt. I'm Ange. And today we're talking about how doing too much in a relationship can be just as bad as not doing enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I know some of you watching this right now are like, well, how am I supposed to find the perfect balance of doing versus not doing? You need to tell me now. You're a cuckoo head. Uh, you're a cuckoo. But that's the question we're here to help you answer. In this video, we're gonna talk about three main things. One, what we mean when we say doing too much in a relationship, because that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Two, why it can be so bad for your love. And number three, how to strike that perfect balance of doing versus not doing based on your relationship. Now, number three is my favorite. I'm so excited to get there, but apparently we have to go in numerical order. So let's just jump into the other two. Okay, so what is doing too much in a relationship? We can look at what doing too much is in a few different ways, because it's kind of hard to like put your finger on what doing too much is. But the way that we look at it and the way that we define it is when you stop doing something for the recipient and you start doing things for yourself, email. Does that make sense? If not, let me explain a little bit further. Sometimes there's this tipping point where we do things to show who we are versus just doing the thing because we wanted to show somebody some love. Case study, our relationship. Now we've talked about this in a couple of other videos, namely our love story and the video about how to keep the magic alive. You can check both of those out up here. But I used to take Ange random flowers at work all the time. It was this really special thing the first time that I did it and she responded really well. And I remember getting so excited about that feeling but also about how everybody else around me responded to that because I tend to fancy myself a bit of a hopeless romantic and sometimes I let that kind of get away from me. The first time I brought her flowers, great, but then I started bringing them like all the time or bringing cards or like leaving notes on her station and I started doing it so often that it lost any appeal. It lost that magic because the big grand gestures, when they're constantly coming, are no longer big grand gestures. The main point of which I was doing too much. It wasn't special anymore. There was no mystery about when it would happen. She just pretty much assumed that almost every day she was gonna get something at her station. That was for me. That wasn't for her. At a certain point, I stopped doing it for her response and did it more to show everybody how much of a hopeless romantic I was. And that's hopeless, but it's not very romantic. I gotta go it in. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the same goes for sharing too much. And I know I'm a woman, so I'm supposed to come home and I'm supposed to be like yakety yak at my husband about every little detail that happened in my day while I'm cooking and cleaning, but no. Is this seat taken? It is currently. You can see it. <laughs> 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 so whether it's sharing too much or doing too much or being too much or whatever you want to call it, you know, you got to be careful about that. That's rule number one. Let's move on to rule number two. Two, why is doing too much so bad for your love? Okay, so we just talked about some of the ways that doing too much can be really bad, but let's get into the nitty gritty here. So there was a time when Colt would go to the gym and then he'd come home and he would tell me about every single exercise he did and how much weight he lifted and how much this person lifted and blah, blah, blah. And that wasn't actually the problem, but the problem was that he was kind of talking at me and, and it wasn't a conversation with me. And again, this is my best friend we're talking about here. I love this man. I love talking to him till all hours of the night. That's why we started this channel, right? But the problem was, again, that we weren't having a conversation together. He was having a conversation and I just happened to be there. And he didn't mean anything by it, you know? I mean, we're constantly talking about men don't share enough, men don't share enough, but you give a mouse a cookie. So the point is, you gotta protect your love and your relationship by making sure that what you're doing is for your love and your relationship only. Okay, we're here. Number three, how to find balance. 
They're very excited. I'm so excited about this because this is the best part because this is the one that's the through line that's gonna flow through every other part of love that you ever encounter. This is where the rubber meets the road, where the proverbial icing meets the cake. This is where the- Too much. Too, too much. much, it's too much. too much. I'm gonna stop there. Too much. <laughs> okay, so this is the part about balance. Okay, so first thing, good news and bad news. Bad news. There is no mathematical, quantifiable, empirical formula that you can use to find the perfect balance of doing versus not doing for your relationship. Bad news, sorry. Now the good news, that's why you have intuition and gut feelings. Self-awareness is one of the biggest parts of love and the one that will usually lead you back to your truth every time. And forward to the love you deserve. Hey, like that back forward play. Yay. Yeah. We are really, really firm believers that we all know in our core when we're doing something for the relationship or for our partner versus when we're doing it for ourselves or just to look a certain way to the outside world. So that part of balance doesn't have an easy answer, but it has a simple one. So listen to that tiny little voice in your head or your heart, your soul, whatever it is that, that asks you why you're doing what you're doing and, and not just going with the flow and doing all the things, all the extra. The what is important, but as we say so often on this channel, it's really about the what and the why. So that's it, three takeaways. One, acknowledge when you're doing too much and then stop doing it, bonus tip. <laughs> Two, step back and start doing things for the relationship, not just for how the relationship looks from the outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and three, remember to look for the why in your actions so you can keep yourself from doing too much in the future. If you do these three things, you will be well on your way to finding the love you deserve, even if it's with someone you've been with for a very long time. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because knowing why you're doing so much is a really important part of love. Okay, thank you everybody for stopping by and watching the entire video all the way up to here. We have some another mother's mother, 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 <laughs> playlists. Nice. Subscribe, like, comment, all the YouTube things. <laughs> Do you think we did it? 